I'm Steve from This Week with Cars, and this week I'd like to do something a little bit different. Behind me you can see my car collection, and today I'd like to cold start as many of these cars as possible. Some of them have definitely been sitting for longer than others, and I know that a few of them will not run at all. But we won't have very many nice days left in the year, and so today I thought I'd see if I can get as many of these running as possible. The first couple vehicles do not run. The pink Sprite I have not finished yet. And the yellow Mike Dale race car, I have done nothing besides pull it out of the trailer where it has been kept for the last 20 years. The white Sprite race car, on the other hand, should start. So I guess we'll start right there. Next up is my Triumph TR4 race car. It's been a few years since I've raced this car. I think the batteries had it in this car. I've been meaning to upgrade this one to an ultra capacitor. Now I know to put this one on the list as one of the first for an ultra capacitor. Let's see if we can jump start it. Next up is my Austin Mini Cooper S race car. This one's parked a bit too close to the bus thing right now. Seems that the starter's stuck, so let's try the hammer. I'm going to tap the starter 
while I hit the starter solenoid. That did it. I'll keep this handy in case I need it again. Next up is the 95 Cobra. This was my first race car. Did my SCCA school in this car. Next up is the Barkley 328 SE. Next car is the Lloyd Alexander, however the battery tipped over and has eaten the starter. So I need a new starter for this car now, so, so it will not start without being pushed. Next to the Lloyd is a 1968 Mustang Sprint Coupe. I haven't started this car in a while. I'm not sure if it will start, but let's throw a jump pack on it and see what happens. Next car is an Austin Mini Moke. However, this car has a bad engine, so I cannot start it. Over here is a Sunbeam Alpine that I've been trying to finish the restoration on for, I don't know, 15, 20 years now. The engine is rebuilt and in there, but it is not ready to start yet. Next car is a Series 5 Sunbeam Alpine that I recently purchased. If you've seen me get this car running in another video, let's find out if it still runs. Let's call that close enough. Next to that Sunbeam Alpine is a 70 GTO. It does not currently run, although it is very, very close. And next to the GTO is an MGTD. I have the transmission out of this. I will be showing you what I'm doing to this in a future video. That brings us to the Mark II Sprite that you've seen in previous videos.
next to the Mark II Sprite is the Datsun 280Z that I got from Kevin at Junkyard Digs. You can see I am currently doing some work on this car. Some nice mouse nests that I found in there. So I will not be trying to start this car today. The next car is Ken Grazing Sprinzel Sebring Coupe. Next car is a 1966 MG Midget. Believe it or not, this car used to be a rust bucket on my shelf, and now it is fully restored. The next car is my first red Sunbeam Tiger. <laughs> next is my second red Sunbeam Tiger. I did a video getting this car running. Next is the MGA that I have been filming trying to get running. The fuel bottle is still hooked up, so it should start. And finally, in this first section of cars, this is barn sprite number three. The engine is locked up right now, so obviously I won't be starting this one. This video is about 12 and a half minutes already, so I think I'm going to break these videos up into three or four different videos. The next video, I'll start down this line right here. If I haven't posted the rest of the videos yet, comment below and let me know that you want me to continue with these videos because it does take a lot of time to edit these. And of course, if you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.